Hey guys, it's Jeremy here on Mental Music Mapdown, back with another video. What I have for today, guys, is my top 10 albums of 2016. Incredible year for albums, and if some of you are thinking, I've seen this already, Jeremy, you are correct. Uh, technically, I already posted this video for 2016 about a week ago or so, and um, and again, I was getting ready to do 2017 to record a video for, for the year 2017 this weekend only to realize an album that I was pretty certain was released in 2017 was actually released in 2016. And because the album is one of my favorite albums of all time, like literally top 20 albums of all time, uh, it easily would have been made my number one of 2016. And it just bothered me so much that I didn't put it on my actual video because I mixed up the dates. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna uh, delete the video and re-record it and just readjust my list. Uh, so that's pretty much where we're at. So let's jump right in guys. At number 10, I have Atoma by Dark Tranquility, their 11th studio album. Uh, really good melodic death pedal band. This one's got some gothic elements in there as well. Great vocals, really heavy, one of their heavier albums from the later period. And just all around a really killer album. At number 9, I have Testament with Brotherhood of the Snake. Uh, a little bit low on the list for a Testament album for me. It's my second favorite band of all time. But it is one of my least favorite Testament albums in their discography. But even a bad Testament album still kicks ass. So it still had to make my list. At number eight, I have Evergrey, The Storm Within. This was my introduction to Evergrey. Really loved the band, really melodic vocals, but some really crunchy, heavy guitar riffs. Great melodic lines. Love this band right away. I still need to pick up most of their stuff on hard copy, but it's always hard to find it for a good price. Uh, at number uh, seven, I have Grand Magnus with Sword Songs. Again, my introduction to the band and also uh, probably my favorite album from them as well. Super epic, Swedish, heavy metal, traditional metal, kind of power metal sounding, but more, more traditional metal. With songs like uh, Forged in Iron, Crowned in Steel, and Born for Battle. Killer, killer album. If you haven't checked these guys out, definitely check them out. Just some really epic, fun to listen to heavy metal. Really good stuff. At number six, I have Terminal Redux by Vector. Uh, it's a third studio album. They're an American thrash metal band. Very technical. Uh, they have some progressive death metal elements missed in there as well. Very tech, like I said, very technical playing. A lot of space, kind of sci-fi themes, uh, but really technical, really well played, world well, um, seasoned musicians. Really check this out if you haven't seen it. Easily my favorite album by them as well. Really killer album. At number uh, five, I have Ancients with Void of the voice of the void i uh, love this band um, i came across this on a review online or something one time i checked out their whole album and it was killer uh, they actually have a new album coming out this year i think in uh august called beyond the reach of the sun so i'm super pumped to hear the uh, next album i'll probably review it on the channel as well and that was number nine, number five number four my all-time favorite band opeth with sorceress uh their 12th studio album uh, just, this is more of a straight up uh, hard rock, hard uh, progressive rock album. Love the artwork on this one. Really good tunes. The title track's really killer. Sorceress 2, uh, the, wild, the Wildflowers, some really good stuff on this album. Don't Sleep on Opeth's, uh, really, you know, prog rock albums. They're really killer. Still take you on a journey. Still have some crunchy riffs and some heaviness to them, but just not uh, metallic. Number three, I have Eternal Champion with the armor of iron. Um, just look at this artwork, it's super epic. It doesn't get more heavy metal than that. Between the artwork and the logo, it's just everything about it screams epic heavy metal. And that's pretty much exactly what you get. Um, it's just a killer, killer album. It's just like that kind of fist in the air, going to battle, sing along. Just really fun heavy metal, just always love these guys. Their uh, album that came out after this, which was in 2020, I believe. Yeah, Ravening Iron was my album of the year for 2020. We haven't got there quite yet, but a little bit spoiler alert, killer, killer band. And number two was my number one initially before I revamped the list. I have Gojira with Magma. Uh, might be my favorite uh, Gojira album of all time or top two or three. I haven't done a, I haven't done a Gojira ra ranking yet, but always go back to this album a lot with uh, Silvera, Stranded is a killer, killer tune. The groove on that song is killer. And just some really good songs on this one. Magma, the title track as well. Always been one of my favorite uh, Gojira songs, or albums, I should say. 
So like I said, that used to be my number one, but the album I forgot about that was released in 2016, that for some reason I was, I was always certain it was released in 2017, was Chemis by uh, Hunt, the album Hunted, The Hunter. Hunted, sorry. Uh, look at that album cover as well. Probably one of my favorite album covers of all time. Their best album cover, in my opinion, and their best album. I did a ranking for these guys already. They only have, I think, four albums, maybe five. I think five. Uh, but this album kicks so much ass. It's easily one of my top 20 albums of all, of all time. Um, it's only got five tracks. It's a progressive uh, metal doom kind of band. And uh, easily my favorite uh, new wave New Age of Doom Metal band, easily. And the uh, title track, Hunted, the fifth and last track, is a 13 and a half minute epic Doom song. It's right up there. I put it up against any any big song in metal you can name. It's so good. If you're not familiar with these guys, check out this album and this band. You will not be disappointed. They kick a lot of ass. So that's my list, guys. I had to slide chemists in there. It was bothering me so much that I forgot about them the first time around. And I'm still working on my 2017 list, uh, so I'll be releasing that shortly as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Anyone who um, commented on the last video, I do apologize. Uh, but I did want to redo it again just because I was felt so bad uh, leaving Chemist out. One of my best favorite albums of all time. So I just had to re redo it. So stay tuned for 2017. I'm going to be doing an album review for the new Evergrey. That'll come out the next day or two. I'm also going to review the new Hollyside. Great uh, thrash metal album, I always, and I have a couple more uh, CD, my CD collection uh, uh, videos to do as well. So stay tuned for those videos in the next three or four days, guys, and until next time, keep it metal.